All right, parthenogenesis. What's an example of parthenogenesis? What's an example of a time, a situation in which an egg divides by mitosis to produce a haploid organism? Well, there's a number that I could choose, but I'm going to pick one I particularly enjoy, and that is this. Male bees. Male bees, not female bees. Female bees are diploid. But male bees, every cell in a male bee's body is haploid. And so, uh, uh, and so uh, they develop by, by parthenogenesis. Male bees do. Let's talk about male bees and bee society for just a very few minutes. I think this is very interesting. Uh, you know, there's the expression, busy as a bee. Anytime you see a picture of a beehive, you see what? Bees going bzz, 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 zipping around, working, 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 going to get the nectar, working in the hive, feeding the young, taking care of the queen bee. Who's doing all that work? It's the female bees. They're doing it all. They're doing all, all the work, every bit of it. And what are the male bees doing? Well, they got just a really nice life, at least for a while. The male bees are all sitting in the foyer of the hive, just relaxing. And every male bee has its own recliner, its own TV set with a remote, and every time a male bee clicks its little antenna, there's a female bee right there with a new mug of beer. It is unbelievably great being a male bee. Just kick back and relax, watching the females work, 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 work. And so, uh, there you have it. But, things change when the female bees decide it's time for the queen bee to have her eggs fertilized. The queen bee also being diploid. And the queen bee produces eggs, and at some point it's time for them to be fertilized. And so a contingent of female bees uh, goes out to the foyer of the hive and looks around and selects one of the male bees. And they may say, you know, you, you, come with us. And he's been busy watching TV, but he's, I guess he thinks, okay, I better do it. So off he goes. And the rest of the male bees, they're under, what, what happened to Joe? Well, you know, who cares? Let's watch more TV, drink some more beer. So, uh, and so the female contingent es escorts the, the queen bee and the selected male bee out for what's called the honeymoon flight, where the male bee has a powerful experience. It is the experience of a lifetime. In fact, as the beekeepers say, uh, the release of those sperm cells, they can hear it way up in the air, like a, like a, that was a very good snap, there you go, a snap, they can hear it, it's a powerful experience, an experience of a lifetime for that little male bee. And how do we know it's an experience of a lifetime? Because the re release of the sperm cells is such a, such a powerful experience that it just blows its little reproductive organs all to bits, kills the poor little guy. And so the, the queen bee and the male bee, they, they come down to the, they kind of come down to the, float down to the ground and and, 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 and the, male, the female bee kind of extricates herself from the male bee and flies back to the hive with the female bees with her. And the poor little male bee it just you know, doesn't make it. That's it. But back at the hive, life suddenly takes a tremendous turn for the worse for the other male bees. They've just been leaving, leaving, living the good life for quite a while now. But uh, <clears throat> after that fertilization, uh, the... Uh, the, uh, the, the worker bees come back, the female worker bees come back to the hive, they go out to the foyer, and the male bees are tremendously startled by what happens. The female, bee go, fe female bees go, out, 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 get out of here, we don't need you anymore. Out, out, and the male bees are chased right out of the hive. Oh my goodness, and what happens to them? They all starve to death because they never learned how to work. Isn't that something? So being a male bee is great for a while, and one does die happy, and the rest starve to death. Wow, amazing. And so, uh, will any of that be on the test, next test? Uh, probably not, but one thing that we might, I could ask about, and that is this. By what cell division process does a male bee produce its sperm cells? Now, we normally think of sperm cells being produced by what process? 
oops, here they are down here, meiosis produces sperm cells. Is that how male bees would produce their sperm cells? I don't think so because meiosis starts with what kind of cell? A 2N cell dividing by meiosis to form these haploid cells. No 2N cells in the, in the entire uh, male bee's body. So how does a male bee produce its sperm cells? By more mitosis, haploid mitosis. And, uh, and so <clears throat> by haploid mitosis, the male bees are formed and then continued haploid mitosis, they make their sperm cells. And there you have it, an example of parthenogenesis in the animal kingdom, a detour from the normal, uh, what is thought of as the normal basic animal kingdom life cycle. Do we people do that? No, we don't. But there are certain species that do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for parthenogenesis.